hi welcome back today i'm going to teach how to how to do the cred system in java uh, i already taught how to design this form in this cred system consists of how to add the record how to edit the record how to delete the record how to find the record so this is a form right this form consists of this following fields name address phone number here this is this field for searching the record uh, this 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 is this j table how to design the j table i have already talked so this is the buttons add button update button and delete button i have to put one more button here i forgot it that that should be find so this find button i just drag and drop over here little bit we have to reduce size little bit here this one should be we have to change the text as find present key perfect now let's do the program step by step so first i have to name name this text field so select this text field this variable if you select this text field here this is the name defaultly created i have changed this one as a txt name once you change that press enter key then only it, it to be applied select second one this one this this one sh uh, should be the address so txt address press enter key how to that select this text field txt phone press enter key the name changed successfully the name has been changed successfully for each text fields right now this one search this one should be i have named this one as a txt id press enter key perfect this is j table uh, we have already named it as table this is the buttons right so now first what i am going to do is here i am going to establish the database connection first database i am going to connect java to mysql database so go to the google and type xam download so click download one this is the respective website for download the xam server okay so you have to download it i already downloaded and uh, installed in my machine you have to download this one click the download button and you have to download your machine and you have to install them it is straight forward you can uh, select the path where you want to install it and select next next you will be able to install in your machine right after you uh, install has been successfully you go here and you have to type xam you can find it here xam control panel click on this one here you have to here the the button should be start here i am going to stop default is coming as start so you just click start now the zap your apache and mysql uh, service has been started okay after that you have to go and type the url localhost and here port 880 press enter key this is your dashboard this will be your dashboard here i i have already changed this port in default you can type here it, it it should be work without what it should be work i have uh, this uh, this default port uh, another program running so that i have changed the port okay i have already changed the port okay so so this is the port right now what i am going to do is here this is my ph my admin here i am going to go to create the database you click on this one here here so here first click on click new here i am going to create the database as student database oh a school something like that school database which name is school create your database has been created successfully with the name of school school database i am going to create the 
table as student table I am going to create student table consists of how many columns we have three columns over here along with the ID for four columns click go right now first one should be the ID ID int data type should be int uh, value I am going to make it as 11 primary key have to set the primary key identify the unique and I have to make it as auto increment you have to select this auto increment right second one student name so student name st name you have to simply type st name data type should be watcher 255 characters after that what are the another fields address phone number address watcher the phone number phone man number should be the number so int this is the text we have to change it as watcher this is the integer type so the data type should be int id also uh, number so data type should be int this one should be the primary with auto increment do this options auto increment you have to ch uh, check this one right after that after done all the stuff you just click save button now your table has been created successfully you can see you have already created the database here student inside the student database we have created the table which name is student okay your database which name is school inside the school database we have a we have created the table called student Stu student table consi consists of these following columns id student name address and phone number i hope you understood these things well i hope you guys you understood the things well uh, how to create the database and how to uh, how to create the tables i will See you in my next lecturing. Hi, welcome back. In our last video, we saw how to create the database and table, how to name the text fields and all we saw in our last video. In this video, I'm going to teach how to add the records. So first, what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to establish the database connection. So go to the source. Here I'm going to create the this is your source code right now here this is a constructor of the class after the constructor I'm going to create the one method public void connect here I'm going to connect the database open clearly bracket and close close play bracket. here I'm going to uh, establish the database connection before establish a database connection we have to download the appropriate driver so how to download the appropriate driver back to your back to the browser go to the google and type it mysql connector for java jar this jar i have to download the jar jar file okay so here the second link this is a link uh, respective website HTTP jar download this one click on this one it it goes to the respective website now here this one this is a version all the stuffs are there now here this one click on this now your uh, jar uh, jar file start to download here so I already downloaded so I had just cancel it so I already downloaded it. So I just go to the downloaded file. This is download. I already downloaded. Download the file. So this is a download file. If you are download this one, this is the the uh, file should be a zip uh, zip zip one. You can see that. After that, we have to extract them. I already extract it. Right. So if you search that this one. Now here, this is the file. You have to uh, add it into your libraries so how to add it into your libraries go to the eclipse 
yes select the your project folder right click properties now i'm going to add the jar files so here in order to add the jar file you select the java build path here there will be the various tabs available select the libraries tab here you can see inside the module path jar system library so select this module path here i'm going to add my jar file my sql connected jar so select this one select the option add the external jars here you have to here you have to uh, browse and find where your jar is uh, files reside on your computer so i have my jar file is reside on downloads folder so this is a download folder jar this one jar files select this one my sql connected this click open here your jar is added successfully so click apply and close button right perfect now you, your jar file has been added successfully in your library right now what i'm going to do is here here i'm going to add the namespace so here i'm going to add the namespace simply you have to add it here is import java dot so class sql class you have to add the java dot sql package right if you uh, get them asterisk you will be able to access all the sql classes right after that we already create the method connect here i'm going to establish the database connection first so you try try catch try catch block simple catch the exception only this is very much when you are doing the programming uh, if there are any error try will be get the uh, get the error and it will be handled what kind of the error you get okay so inside the try i'm going to first i'm going to register the driver mysql driver how to register the mysql driver class dot for name here you have a driver you have to write here com dot mysql dot jdbc dot driver you have to write write like this okay you have to write without any spelling mistake the com mysql jdbc driver that's it after that i'm going to create the connection object so here i'm going to create the connection object connection con connection object created connection con this is the object con so you get them here i am going to set the database path where your database is located on your database is located on localhost so localhost your database lo lo located on the localhost so here we have to do driver manager dot get connection here you have to give the database path so jdbc jdbc you have to write jdbc colon mysql you have to write like this mysql here you have to write localhost localhost what is the database name you have to specify the database name you have created the database which name the school is your database perfect after that we have to provide the login credential of mysql this is a username this is the password okay when you install the xam server in your machine the default username is root default password will be blank if you want you will be able to change the username and password i'll be give them the default one root is a default username password should be blank you have to leave it as blank here we have to complete the statement that's it this is how we have to establish the database connection after that what i am going to do is here if there is any error ex dot we have to write print trace that's it this connectivity i just copy this connection method i just copy this is the constructor of the class 
this is a constructor of the class java correct it's a constructor of the class okay when the constructor is initialized all the property will be initializing so i'm going to calling the connect method here right when the project is run it's it's run along with the connection method your database connection uh, running okay so here we have to get the message whether the connection is succeed or not we have to test that j option pan dot show message dialog here we have to write uh, right null this one should be the connection connect uh, connection success that's it now now let's run and check whether it's working fine or not click here here connection success it is connecting successfully okay if you click ok here it is connection successfully i hope you guys you understood the things well uh, i'll be continuing in my next lecturing how to add the records thank you hi welcome back in our last video we successfully established the database connection in this video i'm going to teach how to add the records so we successfully we have changed the name txt name txt address and txt phone number right so this is very important for identify the each text fields by the name now select the add button right click add event handler action action perform it goes to the event right now here first i am going to create the variables here i am going to create two string variables data type variables one is an integer variable phone number so here first what i am going to do is here first create string name comma address with string, uh, string database phone number will be the int we created the variable successfully now i am going to assign the values name equal txt name dot get text after that address equal txt address dot get text phone number this is a integer type so we have to convert it how to convert it is you have to type integer integer dot pass int here you have to name the text field txt phone dot get text that's it so when the user type on the text on this text field this this text fields it assigned to the relevant variables name address and phone number okay when the user type on this text fields it is assigned to the relevant variables here right now what i'm going to do is here i'm going to create uh, i'm going to write the sql query so you have to write the prepare statement in order to write the sql query you have to write the prepare statement so you have to write the prepare statement over here connection object you have to write prepare statement uh, prepare statement is reside on the sql class this sql class so you have to write prepare statement statement pst when you write this one this is a case sensitive start with p here s is start with uh, capital okay you have to study this one okay you have to write the this is a case sensitive sensitive in java is a case sensitive when you writing the codes keep in remember now here we have to get the prepare statement object pst i already created the object of prepare statement in order to write the sql query okay so here this one pst you get here now here i am going to write the sql code here 
So first connection, we have to establish database connection, we have the connection object we have to create at con. So this is database connection object we have to create con. Okay, your database connection is reside on this object con. So connection dot prepare uh, connection dot sorry we have to write here uh, yeah, uh, right connection dot prepare statement here have to write the SQL code here right you have to write the SQL code you write inside the double quotation mark you have to write insert into here have to write you have to specify the table name which table you are going to insert the record I'm going to insert the record in student table so you have to specify the table name correctly student student here if you have to columns you have to specify the column names what are the columns names ID should be auto increment okay so we no need to uh, put it here so uh, rest of the columns names so st name address and so on so type st name comma address comma phone you write like this now here values open curly bracket clo close bracket now here uh, we have uh, three columns okay student name address and phone number here we have to put three question mark the so prepare statement three okay so after that we have to close it that's it okay uh, statement you have to close it so this is not an error here it is simple you have to import the try and catch block here click on this one you, you no need to write the try and catch block that's why I show you here right first time I will show you how to add the uh, you can uh, start the try and catch uh, block here okay so you don't need to write the try and catch block over here it automatically generated click on this icon surrounded with try catch it automatically generated with eclipse id just click on this one here it generated successfully that's why i show you this way very simple you don't need to write okay uh, at the first time i show you uh, if you if you want to write the try and catch how to write here it simply it will be created now what I'm going to do is here. Uh, after that, we have to place these values. So we have to write a prepare statement here. PST, PST dot set string. Here to write set string. First one should be the name. So this name we have to write here. Right. So the same thing I just control C to copy, control V to paste here. Second one should be the address. Address variable you have to type over here. Right? These are the field names, the sequence of names followed by the sequence of uh, columns in the database table. This is the sequence field followed by the sequence of columns in the database table. The name should be go here. Student name, address should be go second question mark. Third one should be the our phone number so pst dot this one should be the set int because it's a data it should be int okay so set int so three third one should be the phone number it's it's generated automatically okay that's it it goes to the third question mark it put into the relevant column first one should be the name should be put it here uh, second address should be put it here phone number put it here right after that what I'm going to do is here, we have to call the method. This one should be the execute update. If you call this method, your record has, uh, record has been added into a database table. So execute update. We have this execute update. This one, this method, if you call it this one. That's it. That's the thing you have to do. Okay. Right now, if if the record is insert successfully or not, how to we have to identify? So we have to create the J option pan message box. Dot show message null. Here we have to write the message record added. Record added. 
that's it that's it record edit okay that's the thing we have to do record edit that's it okay after the record we have to clear the the following fields we have to clear the name address phone number so how to clear so we have to write txt name so text for uh, text box name txt name dot set text clear i already taught how to clear the text box fields okay the same thing i just copy and paste it over here this address that one should be txt phone dot set text clear after uh, clear all the text fields the cursor will be focused on the txt name text field so here try txt name dot request focus you have to call this method after clear all the text fields the cursor will be focused on this text field that's it that's the thing you have to right now let's check whether it's working fine or not okay we did the code successfully very simple code this stuff you have to add the records into the database if there is any error the color catch block will be handling what kind of the error it will be throw the exception so let's run and check click run click ok ok we no need this message box the uh, I just put the testing purpose only so we remove that but each time if you load it this uh, message box will be appear on the screen okay that's it run it right this is job running now I'm going to first I'm going to type the name right so James address I'm going to type something else uh, uh, we have to write main street street India phone number I'm going to type something like that right that's it click add button record added record added we get the success message here we have to uh, get the success message record added if you click OK here the all the field should be clear and cursor will be focused on to enter the new record so here we have to write another record we have to write Peter address your type C, C Street India phone number I'm going to enter some number okay, over here right click add button record edit click OK perfect it's working perfect now let's check check on the database whether it's the record is added or not go here this is a database table click browse button now uh, we are in the tab called structure this one here this working perfectly here the ID, ID will be auto increment part once you add the record into the database the ID will be incremented one by one the first time James V James address added uh, phone number added after that increment by one here it's working perfectly well I hope you guys you understood the things well if you have any doubt you can ask me uh, I'll be see you in my next lecture. Thank you for watching. Hi, welcome back. In our last video, we saw how to add the records. In this video, I'm going to teach how to view the records. So first, what I'm going to go do is here is go to the source. I'm going to go to create the new function. This is the connection method I already created. Now I am going to create a new method. So here this one should be public void table. Open curly bracket and close curly bracket. Right. Now here what I am going to do is here. Uh, first I am going to write here is a prepare statement. So write the another prepare statement we have write PST equal connection dot prepare statement here we have to write the SQL query back to my 
uh, table I'm going to load all the records I'm going to load all the records ID student name address and phone number right so what I'm going to do is here back to my NetBeans you right select all from which table I'm going to load the record student table Here also you have to click here and you have to import the surrounded with try and catch block. That's it. After that part I'm going to do is here. We have to write uh, we have to create the class and the class result set. Here we have to write public connection, prepare statements, uh, prepare statement I have created the object PST, connection object here to create as con. Now I'm going to create another object result set rs that's it after that i am going to create result set metadata object result set metadata metadata so we get rd we have to get the object rd perfect that's it that's it after that you have to create default table model table model model we have to create model that's it all right these are the objects we have to create it okay now what i'm going to do is here we have we wrote the query select all from student we have to load all the student data okay so you have to write asterisk all the details from the database after that we have to write the result set object rs equal prepares in pst dot execute query right we have to load all the uh, load all the student details right after that we have to uh, r the object result set metadata object here called rd equal rs dot get metadata this one that's it after that what i'm going to do is here i'm going to create the variable so we are going to create the variable over here here above the try uh, try block a dot create the variable now here we have to count the get metadata so this variable we have to pass it here a equal rv dot get column count count the columns after that we already create the default table model object here this is all the object we have created result set object rs result set metadata object rd and model so here simply you have to get it another one is a uh, default table model object model model equal we have to bracket this one this control c to copy the same things you just paste it control b to paste here simple what's the name of the table table dot get model if you forget the name of the table you can see here in the code you have a table name you can get the name of the table over here here yeah, this is the name of the table j table new is the table name okay you can get the name if you have forgot it okay it's no, no problem okay right now here what i'm going to do is here uh, we have to this this model you write model dot set row count right that's it now after that i'm going to write the while loop while you write rs dot next okay while loop open and close bracket okay. here i'm going to load the values so you have to write the vector class here. You have to create the object v equal new vector. Right. 
we have to establish the namespace import vector it is under the util package right after that i'm going to for loop you have to write int i equal initial value 1 i less than or equal a a mean this a variable a i plus plus open curly bracket and close curly bracket here what i am going to see this variable v dot add here out right here rs dot get string get string house dot get string get string here we have write id first column should be the id after that you just copy and paste over here second one should be the name uh, what is the what is the database fields st name address and phone number the same name you have to given here this is the database column name st name address phone you have to give the name properly then only it should work that's it that's the thing we have to do here after that we have to add them into the model this model we have to add them into the model so model dot add row add row you can get the property over here here we have to pass it this vector object v that's it that's the stuff you have to load the uh, table very simple way you have to load the table without import the library uh, jar jar file you simply you have to create without a jar file a simple code we have to use it set so, uh, we have to import these three classes and you have to done it Re uh, result set uh, class result set metadata default table model in order to complete the stuff very simple you have to load it from this code the code is very efficient way to write the code to load the table so this table once once the form is loaded uh, i want to see all the data so this table control c to copy this uh, table method i just control c to copy this name name paste inside the constructor right that's it now when the pay form is loaded this table has been loaded here it's perfect it's working perfect it's working perfect i hope i hope you guys you understood the things well if you have any doubt you can ask me anytime i'll be see you in my next lecture hi welcome back in our last video we saw how to find the record in this video i'm going to teach how to update the record so select the update button right click here we have to select add the uh, event handler action action perform it goes to the relevant action perform over here uh, now we no need to write the code here i just go back to my design go to the edit button uh, uh, sorry add button you double click on this one here yeah, this is the how to add the records this is the same code I just copy and modify it. Okay, it's very simple. We can save some time okay, instead of writing. So you just copy this one. You just control C to copy these lines. Okay, uh, this is the action of form of uh, insert uh, in add uh, add records. So you just copy this code. Control C to copy back to my design. Select the update. Right click. Add action of form. Action, action. Okay. Now here inside, inside here you just control V to paste here. Right. Perfect. Now let's modify the code. Very simple. Now here you can see here all the text fields are assigned to the relevant variable successfully over here. Now we have to another one thing we have to do it here is edit button, uh, edit uh, update the code. We have a additional one. Uh, text fields are there. This one should be the ID. So this ID we have to assign it. 
that's the thing we have to do okay so double click on this right so again how to assign it here is we have to create the variable here this is an integer type id id equal integer dot passing txt id dot get x that's it we have to write this up okay now we have get the id and assign to the relevant field the id we what is the id we have entered over here this one should be passing to the this relevant variable this relevant variable id variable right that's the thing we have to do right we successfully assigned the fields now what i am going to do is here this is the code where we are writing the insert the record into the database we have used this code i just remove the code backspace to remove this code okay the prepare statement all stuff are there okay the same we only we have to change the code only okay so here we have to write the body uh, now this time i am going to update the record so we have a uh, sql statement update we have to write update we have to specify the column name what's the name of the column these are the columns st name address and phone number what's the database table student table so we have to update which table you are going to update student table set the columns first column i am going to set as st name we have to give the name properly over here if there are any spelling mistake it won't work st name address phone st name comma address equal question mark comma course uh, question mark equal phone equal question mark. that's it after that they are id equal question mark. okay what is the id you are entered here the uh, according to the record uh, would be display on this text field if you change anything else if you change something else and click update button the uh, record has been updated okay so what is uh, uh, record is updated based on the id as the id you are entered here the particular row has been updated okay if you change something else right now here these are the sequence of parameters we have to assign it name address and phone number first number one parameter scores st name second one should be the address phone third one should be the address uh, phone number the id we have here this is the id what's the id you are given here right so we have a double click on the update button so here this one we have a fourth parameter you just copy this line and we'll be to paste here we get the copy of the phone number okay this one should be the fourth parameter would be i okay right the fourth parameter should be the i okay the id should be go to the fourth parameter so okay. first parameter go to the first number one goes to this one two three this one four right the sequence of parameters followed by the sequence of column uh, columns in the table okay that's it after that if you call the PST execute update method. Your record has been updated. The same thing here. In this time, record is not added. This time, record is updated. That's it. Simple. After I update the record, the same thing. The name text box uh, need to clear address, phone number, and the cursor should be focused on the name text text field. Okay, the same thing it does. Right, perfect. Now let me check whether it's working fine or not. Right. Now I am going to update this record. Which record, Peter? We have to enter the relevant ID. Find the record has been successfully. Now I am going to change the street. Uh, I am going to change the street as uh, here row lower. Lower street phone number. I just change something new, new one, right? Right. 
we have changed it, changed something else here. Peter's, I have changed the address and phone number. Click update button. Record updated. Click OK. It's clear. Now, let me check on the database whether it's working fine or not. Click browse. Here, Peter, Lower Street, India, it's working perfectly well. Right, it's working perfectly well. Now, I want to uh, what I am going to do is here uh, after update this one instead of checking the database I want to see in the table itself after update the record I want to see in the gate table itself so how to do the task is so here we created the method table we just copy this one control c to copy after add the record we have to uh, after add the record this is the message will be displayed record added after get the message record added you have to call this function table then uh, j table will be refreshed the same thing after update the record also you have to call this method now let's check the uh, before that let's cancel it i want to clear one more field this txt id field okay i haven't clear so here we have a control c to copy control v to paste here we get the another copy of the txt here we have two items. right that's it now let's run and check i want to uh, one this, this record I, am, I want to clear uh, update so here this teams how to change as cc phone number i'm going to change something like that click update button record updated click ok yeah it will change itself perfect it's working perfect i hope you understood so far if you have any doubts you can ask me anytime uh, i'll see in my next lecturing how to delete the record hi welcome back in this video i am going to teach about the mysql server driver registration issues this is how we have registered the mysql driver come mysql jdbc driver so this is the old method we have a new method as well so it's very simple okay so here this i just control c to copy the same one or paste over here we have to use here only before the jdbc you have to use cj dot that's it that's it this is how we have registered the new uh, new way to register the mysql driver okay this is the old method this is a new one right now if you are execute and run the application and check whether it's working fine or not now i'm going to go to add the new record john here main street india phone number i'm going to write like this click add button record added it's working fine now i'm going to go to edit the record so i'm going to search the id5 click find button record display val well. now i'm going to make the changes over here john peter click update button record updated it's working fine now i'm going to delete the record five click find first we have to search the record which record you have to going to delete id5 i searched successfully over here click delete button record deleted click ok it's working fine okay this is how we have used the this is this this is how we have registered the new way to register the mysql driver okay this this this, this is this one not wrong i have uh, talk uh, i have tell you we have another method this is a new way to register the mysql driver uh, thank you for watching if you have any doubt on this you can ask me anytime thank you